Uh, welcome, everyone. Thank you for joining us on today's webinar. My name is Jeff Belanger, and I'm part of the support team at Modern Tribe. My co-host for today will be Andras, which is also part of the support team at Modern Tribe. Hello. Uh, finally, we have our colleague Jennifer, which is uh, handling the technical aspect of this webinar. So I'll, I'm excited to be your guide for this quick crash course on how to translate your calendar. So before we begin, uh, here's a quick overview of what we'll be touching base on today. I'd also like to uh, welcome a new attendee that just joined in. Welcome, Victor. Um, so the level of this uh, webinar is beginner, and um, we're, be, we're gonna be covering quite a few things today. Uh, this is mostly uh, about getting your calendar translated in your language. It is, this webinar's focus is not on how to use uh, multilingual calendars, although that would make for a very fascinating webinar. Uh, so we're gonna be looking at things such as what are translation files exactly, uh, where they are located, uh, how to use the free software pull edit to uh, change or update or customize those uh, translation or language files, how to update your language files, um, how to up upload your custom translations back to your website, how to perhaps share some of your translations if you'd like other people to be able to uh, use them and benefit from them. And last but not least, quickly, I'm just gonna uh, give you guys a few pointers on where to find info on multilingual solutions if that's what you're interested in. But again, this will not be the main focus of today's webinar. So. Uh, since we know your time is precious, uh, we're just going to move on to uh, what you will learn today. Specifically, you'll learn how to customize strings. Um, and what you're going to learn today uh, could also be applied to WordPress plugins and themes, not just events calendars. So uh, that way you could just customize things just to your liking. Uh, how to find and update your language files and how sometimes to get around uh, a common problem, which is that some of the strings uh, on a plugin uh, might not be translated properly in your language, how to fix that. And uh, well, we just talked about that, how to share your translations uh, for everyone's benefit. So uh, for starters, what are translation files? Well, uh, translation files are also sometimes called language files and they basically contain the information that allows you to display your site in your language. Uh, more specifically, there are three types of translation files. Uh, for WordPress, there's the POT file. Uh, this sounds complicated, but it's not. It is basically the map or the template um, that contains uh, the information so that uh, the following two files can be generated, which is the PO file and the MO file. So most of the time, uh, you guys will be only looking at the second one, which is the PO file. This is where you will work. Um, very, very uh, seldom will you need to go to the POT file, and even less seldom will you need to look at the uh, MO file, which is actually just coded so that your uh, server can understand it and WordPress can understand it, but it, it's certainly hard to, to read for a human being. Uh, next, uh, but not least, uh, we also talked about that a bit earlier, which is that uh, these language files are available not only for uh, the events calendar plugins, but they're also available for WordPress itself and for almost every um, WordPress theme out there, uh, although there, are, there might be exceptions to that. Uh, moving on to the next slide, uh, we will be uh, looking at how or where to locate your translation files. So what we might be uh, interested in is, all right, we want to change the language files, but where do they live exactly? Well, for the most part, uh, they are located in WP content plugins, the plugin name, uh, that could be the events calendar, it could be the filter bar, it could be event tickets, and under that plugin name, you will find there might be a uh, lang folder. Uh, lang is, of course, short for languages in this case. So 
what you need to do is navigate to that folder and find the files. Uh, they're also available online for download um, in case there's an issue with the ones located in your plugin folder. Uh, but uh, you could just click on the link uh, uh, here and, and you'll be able to download them uh, right from, from the, the web. And what's interesting about those files is the ones that you find online are usually a bit more recent because they're, they're kept uh, up to date live. So uh, let's take a look quickly. I, I previously downloaded uh, the events calendar plugin on my computer so that I could uh, give you guys a sense of what I'm talking about. Where are these three types of language files located? So uh, let's just switch screens for a, qu a quick second. All right, so here's my the events calendar plugin. As I just talked about, uh, this guy is usually located where, if you're familiar with that, in your WP content folder under the plugins subfolder. And if you look at how the events calendar plugin architecture is made, there's a L-A-N-G folder or a language folder. And this is where you see a whole list uh, <laughs> of languages, which just goes to show uh, how many languages our plugins work with. So in any case, uh, Here's the POT file we talked about earlier. This is a template. This is where most things uh, live. This, this, tells, this helps generate all these languages. Uh, for the purpose of what we're gonna be working on today, uh, the PO file is the one that we're gonna be looking at and the MO file is the one used by your web server. So going back to our presentation, um, to edit, all these language files, what we're going to be doing is using a free software, which is called PoEdit. Uh, PoEdit is free and there is a premium version available, but for the purpose of what you want to do, you could absolutely use just a free version. It works great and it's available for Windows, Mac, and even Linux. And it will help um, to translate and edit to your files. Uh, you will also need an FTP client or some type of access to your cPanel uh, lease file manager to just be able to move file around, files around. Otherwise, it's not going to work uh, great. So how does that work uh, simply? Well, what you're going to do is you need to open the file in PoEdit, find the strings you want to update, and there might be several copies of that string, and it might be... Uh, the string you're looking for might be in several language files. So in the case of the events calendar, that might mean you might need to go through <laughs> a couple of our plugins to uh, so just, just hang in there. If you have any questions or if, you could, if you're confused, please reach out to the help desk and we'll be glad to, to help out. And some of them strings might also contain some variable text. We're gonna see that in a quick second, so hang in there. And if the strings cannot be found, uh, last resort, you might, need to update your PO file. And uh, to do that, you just follow the procedure here. And that's pretty much it. So uh, without any further ado, let's just go quickly and do what I just described here, just for an example. So I'm just gonna take the events calendar uh, language file in French, and I'm gonna double click on it. I already have PO edit installed, so that makes it uh, super fast. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to be looking to translate, let's say in French, uh, the upcoming uh, events screen. So if you take a quick look at, sorry, I need to exit from the presentation for a second. Just bear with me. Uh, here we go. So uh, as you can tell on the events calendar, uh, we have upcoming events. Let's say this is what I wanted to, to change or translate in French. What I'm going to do right now is I'm just going to pop up PoEdit, PoEdit, sorry, and I'm just going to search for upcoming, like so. And as I just told you, there might be several instances. So I'm just going to click on next until I find what I'm looking for. Uh, here we go. So uh, as you can tell, this one contains a variable. So upcoming events actually shows up as upcoming percentage sign S, which is a variable. So you just need to make sure that you, you leave that there. Uh, it also means that if you need to change the word events, you'll need to find it separately. Um, so I'm just gonna change the translation here 
and I'm going to save it. Simple as that. Okay, back to the presentation for a little second. Sorry about that. All right. Um, and we just saved it, and that's it. We accomplished our goal here. And next goal is we need to upload the custom file. So once you changed what you're looking for, you just take the file and you're going to bring it back where? Where are you going to bring it? Uh, you could just bring it where it belongs, which is in under WP content, plugins, find your plugin name, find the lang folder. Uh, that will work. But if you do that, the next time you upgrade your plugin, all of your hard work will be lost. Uh, therefore, instead, what we recommend is that you upload uh, these language or these custom language files under another folder, which is meant ex specifically for that purpose, which is WP content, languages, plugins. And if you put your, your custom files there, uh, they will not get overwritten um, and they will be safe and they will also work. So I'm just going to attempt the impossible here and try to do just that. So bear with me, as you know, with all demos, uh, <laughs> sometimes there might be a few glitches. So here we go, here goes nothing. So I'm just gonna take my modified uh, files there and I'm gonna use, I'm using the FileZilla FTP editor uh, for those that are familiar with that. And what I'm gonna do is, as I said, I'm just looking for WP content, which is on my website. And I'm gonna go under the languages folder and I'm gonna look for plugins. And I'm simply going to select not only the PO file, but also the MO file. And I'm just going to drag them over here. And if there's already an existing file, which seems to be the case for me, I'm just simply going to overwrite them. Therefore, uh, with that done, now uh, instead of showing um, prochain, which is a translation, French translation for upcoming, in French, it will now show suivant as I modified it. So moving on, um, if you wanted to share your files. Um, sorry, can I have uh, just a small uh, explanation here, which um, uh, came up, like uh, what happens with the MO file? Uh, basically, when you're editing the PO file with PO edit and you do a save, then it automatically regenerates the MO file. So you don't really have anything to do with that, but you need to upload both because your website or your server will take the translations from the MO file itself. Thank you, Andras. Uh, that was actually both the question and the explanation. So for those that missed that, why did I take both the MO and the PO files? Um, that's uh, it's totally my bad. I should explain this. Uh, what you're opening up with PO edit is the PO file. Uh, and as soon as you hit save, as we talked about as the last step here in updating the language files, uh, that will also update the MO file. And as we saw a bit further before, uh, the MO file, which is also called machine object, hence the MO, uh, is the one you're actually, uh, that is used by WordPress. So uh, to make a long story short, just to recap, you're working on PO files, which is portable object, uh, because you can read them as a human, which is fantastic. Uh, once you, you modify that file and save it, it also updates the file that's needed by WordPress. And once you're done, you just upload back the MO and the PO file, both at the same time. I will just uh, go through that process again just to make sure it's clear for everybody so uh, as you can see here I have selected both the MO and the PO files that were just updated uh, by the fact that I saved and I need to actually drag both of those over otherwise uh, it won't work uh, that, that's the, the worst that could happen is your translation will not kick in so uh, does that cover the question Andras? yes it does perfect all right, thank you for, for the question. Uh, please keep the questions coming in the background. If we're not answering them right now, we will be answering them very, very shortly uh, at the end of this webinar as we're wrapping up. Um, so, uh, so we just did co cover this. Uh, sharing your translations. So uh, you could totally just um, make up your own translations for or, or, or strings for uh, just about anything. So that way uh, your cal calendar could be 
looking uh, exactly the way you want it to. But if you're uh, more interested in perhaps uh, uh, sharing so, some of your translations because you figure uh, maybe other people speaking your language might benefit from them. To do that is actually something we, we highly encourage, especially if your language does not have that many translations. Uh, we do have uh, some incentives for that. Uh, please reach out to a help desk, but if, if you're interested in translating one of our plugins that is not translated or not fully translated, uh, we will we'll gladly offer some uh, free licensing uh, for, for that. So to do that, it's very simple. You just, um, uh, if you haven't done so already, you could download the handout, the PDF handout that comes with this webinar. All of this presentation is in there, including the links. So you just click on one of them links over there. Uh, you might need to create an account for them. And you just submit your translations. And once they're reviewed uh, and approved, everybody else will be able to have um, those translations because they will be released in the next update of our plugins. Uh, so um, that's it. That's pretty much it about sharing translations. Um, quick word in closing. We mentioned we will be talking about that. So uh, there are other things you could do uh, regarding languages with, with the events calendar. Um, there are several multilingual plugins out there. Uh, several of them actually do work kind of nicely with the events calendar, uh, but WPML for now is the most compatible one, uh, co compatible solution, uh, and it does not cover all of our plugins yet. But we're working tightly with with their team to make sure uh, that we we reach full compatibility. So hang in there. Um, another very popular choice is Polylang, uh, which is uh, this time of uh, writing or time of speaking, I guess, only compatible with the events calendar free. It does not work with the events calendar pro. However, uh, some of our customers have found uh, hacks around that, but this is not officially supported. Uh, last but not least, um, this is not multi a multilingual solution, but some people uh, are not comfortable downloading files and uploading them back on the server. Uh, and therefore, what uh, there's um, an alternative to uh, PO Edit, which is local translate. There's a few other ones out there. So basically, all the principles we've learned about today still apply. All you need to do is find the proper string and the proper plugin. Uh, just input your your desired translation and, and save, and that will uh, impact how your calendar uh, strings or words are displayed uh, without having to download upload. It's a matter of personal preference, uh, but it, it works exactly uh, in the same way, uh, minus the whole, the whole uploading and downloading part. So, uh, summary, we covered quickly uh, what translations files are, uh, how to locate them, how to use PO Edit, how to update these files and upload them back to your uh, website, how to share some of them or contribute to the translations of our plugins or other plugins. Uh, and we quickly um, talked about multilingual solutions. Um, if you're interested, we have a couple more articles available uh, and, and links in there. So please feel free and uh, enjoy the read. Um, now it's time for some questions. If you guys have any, if you haven't already asked them, uh, please type in the question box and I will turn it over to Andras just to make sure to, to see that we tackle all of your questions. Okay, uh, so we have a question here. What if I'm using my website in English and I want to change the English wording? What can I do? Okay, um, well, that's a great question. So the first thing that you might, I'm, I'm just gonna exit this presentation for a little while, so I apologize. Uh, well, I was planning on exiting. <laughs> All right, uh, so, so as you guys might be aware, um, Right now, I'm logged into a website. Under the WP and Min, under the general tab of settings, uh, this is where you would just change to your own language there. If uh, normally, by doing simply that, uh, the events calendar uh, should follow. For example, I'm just gonna quickly change it to French here. Uh, and I'm gonna save the changes. 
and I'm going to refresh this page. And as you'll see, most, except for the actual content of the event themselves, but most of the calendar is now displaying in French. In case there's, um, there's a string I want to change, uh, because I, I like to display another word than let's say suivant here. Uh, this is where what we saw earlier is the right procedure. So I'm just going to go back quickly uh, for everyone's benefit. So but I'm going to do the short version. Uh, the good news is if you forget about any of this or if it went a bit too fast, which I apologize for, you can simply just replay the YouTube video until satisfaction. So I'm just heading back. Bear with me, guys. Uh, so what you need to do is you need to locate your translation files. So you head over to the plugin uh, file that you're interested in modifi modifying the, the language. Or if it doesn't exist, you might have to just uh, find, still find the, the language file, uh, open it up using poedit, uh, search for the English word you want to change, and edit the translation, save the file, upload it back to the proper folder, uh, the recommended one would be better. If you forget how to do that or you need more details, I have a quick link here. And if you recall, guys, earlier after I saved my, my updated translation right here, I just uploaded both the PO and the MO file back to the, the appropriate folder. And as a result of all that hard work, uh, I don't know if you guys recall that, but it used to say prochain événement instead of suivant. So it means that my, my change works. So that's a long-winded answer, but just to, to, to Andrash's point, this is how you would tackle uh, a string that you want to change. I don't know if that covers it, or maybe Andras, you have other things you might want to add to that explanation. Um, I think that pretty much covers it. Uh, one thing I would like to add, if you don't see your translation file and you're using PO edit, then it's pretty simple to create a new one I believe you just need to go to the file menu and select new, and then it will give you the opportunity to, to choose the appropriate language and the POT file as a source, and then you can translate away. That, that okay, is we, yep, go ahead. Sorry, I just wanted to comment on what Andrew said. If you guys have any questions that are a bit more advanced, such as this one, uh, uh, we will gladly uh, take you guys one-on-one uh, -on -one and maybe uh, point you in the right direction. Uh, so don't, don't be afraid. It, it's not that bad once you get the hang of it. So uh, please continue, Andres. I'm sure you have other questions. Yes, there's another question. How can we get our translations approved once we submit them? Right. That's a really great question. So it, it, the answer is twofold. Uh, if you uh, submit translations for our free plugins. Uh, what I'm talking about here is the events calendar free and events tickets free. Uh, then you will need to wait that somebody that is a translation editor uh, or above for your language to go over them and approve them. What that means, in other words, is Modern Tribe is not necessarily the ones that are going to be approving those. Um, and um, so you just need to be patient once you submit them. Uh, if you see it's taking too long for the free plugins, uh, you could follow up with the community. Let's say you're, you're translating in Spanish. The Spanish uh, translation editors, uh, as we talked about, when you open up that account, uh, you have all the instructions there. If you translated something for our premium plugins, Event Tickets Plus, Community Events, Community Tickets, all of those good, awesome plugins, uh, that should go much faster because we get to approve them. If you're seeing that it's taking too long for whatever reason, please uh, reach out, guys, and, and we'll gladly make sure it gets approved uh, right away. So, But normally, once you submit for approval, you just sit back and wait, and uh, hopefully it's going to get approved as, as quickly as possible. Okay, thank you. Are there any more questions out there? I don't have any more in the queue at the moment. That's it. All right, so if you don't have any more questions, I'm just gonna end the presentation. So um, 
first off, uh, thank you guys for attending this awesome uh, webinar, and we're so glad that you were here. Uh, we'd like to invite you to subscribe to our new uh, YouTube channel, and um, although it's still fairly new and there's not that many videos in there, uh, it will become big very, very shortly. So uh, again, you can click on that link, and that's it. So on behalf of Modern Tribe, thank you guys once again for everything. And please reach out if you have any follow-up questions. And make sure you, can watch, you watch that video once again if, if you want to go over things a bit slower.